So let's start off with an extremely popular plugin by the name of Scalar 2. And a lot of people know it for its musical theory aspect, but what they don't know is it has built-in AI. So I'm gonna play the sample over here. And the reason why I'm playing this sample is, is I love these chord progressions that are in it. Now, if I wanted to detect these chords, all I have to do is just drag it, drop it inside of Scalar 2. And then I'll bind it over here and let's play those chords right now. Now let's go ahead and play that with the sample. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's pretty darn accurate with detecting the audio. But what I wanna show you is this feature right here and I will drag it, drop it all the way down these progressions and then I will bind them. By simply going into edit, I can do different playback performances as well, which is under this tab. So all I have to do is just go under here and then you can just select a group. Like if I wanted to go to global and select group five and then I can dictate if I want it to be legato, arpeggio or strumming, I can just go ahead and select different expressions as well. So I can go and select a phrase just for like this F. So let's go ahead and combine that together. Since we use Scalar 2 to generate a chord progression, what about melodies? This is where Melody Sauce 2 comes in. So with Melody Sauce 2, the secret to the sauce, I couldn't help myself, would be to go ahead and select a couple of parameters so that we can do a couple of things. So we want something nice and smooth. So I'm gonna choose the speed to be slow. I'll keep the loop length the same. And then I will go over here and generate some melodies. So I can do simple stuff and light, or I can do simple stuff and dark. And then I can do complex stuff that is light and I can do complex stuff that is dark or I can do a healthy mixture of it all. And I can actually do extras too as well. Just add a click of a button. Here's what we got so far. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I hate the sound. But don't worry, I have a solution for that. And here's the different melodies though. and you can change the speed. And so forth. Though Melody Sauce does a great job of generating melodies, I would like to change out the sound, and here's how. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just drag over Melody Sauce and I'll drag over the melody that I want. So I'll drag that over to an empty space here and then switch out the sound with something that I like melodically. Also a quick tip for you FL Studio users, you can go onto your scaler too and you can use burn the MIDI. So what I'm gonna do is just assign an output port to like one and then I'll just go over here and then select burn to MIDI and then I'll just burn the current pattern and then slide everything over. So there we go. Now we have all the MIDI and I'll just bring everything together. And how's the sound so far? So what about AI based drums? Well, that's where Emergent Drums comes in. So the thing about Emergent Drums is it can auto generate drums. So if I was to go over here to the kick and I was additioning the kick here, I can go ahead and generate different sounds from here. Spike on over here, generate. That can also be done to the clap. So if I wanted that clap to be a little tighter and similar, 
or just more random. And also, if you don't like any of the sounds, you can always go back in time and select the sound that you like the most that was generated through AI. You can also rearrange the pads or rearrange anything that where you want it, of course. And then you can also drag and drop samples into any of your channels or any other tracks in any DAW that you like. I think one key tip I can say is don't let AI do everything. The best way to utilize artificial intelligence is to humanize it a little bit and add natural elements. Hence this baseline I'm about to drop. All keys, baby. Uh. But what about adding punchiness to the entire track? That's where Sonable's Pure Limit comes in. So what I'm gonna do is hit the play button and then allow it to listen to the audio and then it will run it through its algorithms and decide what can make for a pumpy limiter. I'll lower the volume. Alice bypass and you can clearly hear a difference there and there but there is another alternative to mastering inside of your DAW and that is ozone 10 similar to Sonable's pure limit this has a AI analysis or AI assistant that you can play your track and it will calculate everything in real time. So it will calculate. So what is the end result of that? Well, it sounds like this. At all versions of Ozone, I think Ozone 9 is probably the best one, to be honest. Uh, Ozone 10 is pretty good. I like the new features, but eh, it kind of missed me with out the standalone version and the CPU usage is extremely high. And if Isotope isn't your cup of tea when it comes to mastering, well, then you have Lander. Unlike the other stuff in this video, Lander is a website where they do mastering online. Even though they're the sponsor of my video, I've used their service for a multitude of songs that I've released over the past couple of years. To show you how it works, all I have to do is to select new, master, and then I'll go to my desktop where I save that track that we were working on this whole entire video. I'll select AI and then it will load up the mastering service in which it will make a calculated guess based off of millions of reference files, analyze the data and build a mastering chain. Now that the mastering chain is created, all I have to do is simply listen. So we have the original that sounds like this. And then we have the master, which sounds like this. Original, master. We can also change the loudness from low, medium, and high. So I'll do low, and then I'll give it a more of a warm sound, so the original will sound like this. And now the master with the warm and low setting. So what about using AI to enhance your percussive sound? So let's get busy with Playbeat. With Playbeat, you can load up one shots into any of these different tracks just by simply dragging and dropping. So for instance here, I have this Tom over here and track number eight, I would just drag it and drop it into here. Now what I can do is go to all and random. And what do we have here? Let's turn it down, let's get it. Bruh, I love AI. But it goes a little further than that. You have different categories here, and uh, one of which I want to show you. So outside of rolling the dice, I can just go over here to Smart Algorithm, and that is where the AI really kicks in.
because you can make redefined definitions. So what I would do here is just go into load and you can choose anything from these factory presets over here and it will mimic it. So what I'll do is I'll close out the window, hit that algorithm again and boom. And we can keep on rolling the dice. Yeah. And you can always undo and go back. So let's go all the way back. And redo. Let's go ahead and hit smart again. So for a specified genres, getting that kind of percussive movement definitely would help with your production. So let me know how you feel about this video. How do you feel about artificial intelligence going into music production? I don't think the sheer purpose of it is to create music on its own as it is to be hands-on with another human being. I think that just brings your production to a new level. Just let me know how you feel. And on the right side of me, we have videos that you should check out. So check it out and all the links will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.